Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel that brings you everything control related and today we are playing some mono blue control again uh, It's a deck I like very very much uh, If you watched the recent uh, video that I uploaded about a week ago on mono blue control uh, The deck did very very well and Aaron Brown who I sold some cards to my legacy death and taxes deck um, Just randomly I said oh if you can give me a follow on YouTube that'd be much appreciated and actually Turns out he was already a subscriber of the channel. How crazy is that? Um, you know, someone living in the UK. I sold some cards to randomly on a UK website. Uh, and yeah, he's already a subscriber to my channel. So that was absolutely crazy. And it just shows to, goes to show, sorry, how small this planet is and how small this world is. So, um, but anyway, he sent me this list, a blue, uh, mono blue control list. Uh, that is vastly different to the one that I played. Uh, and it didn't disappoint. It really did not disappoint. Um, it did pretty well, actually. Um, I only played three matches, but, you know, uh, I thought it did pretty well. And um, Yeah, I mean, the matches we played against were pretty good as well. We played against Control and some other decks. So, yeah, I thought the deck did pretty well. And, um, yeah, before we go into this deck, then I just want to highlight my sponsor, Mana Traders. Now, if you want to get 15% uh, off for two months, just uh, see the link in the description section. Type in the code that is on the screen now and you can get yourself 15% off. Borrow the best cards you need uh, for practicing in modern tournaments or legacy, whatever it may be. And um, yeah, I really, really did enjoy playing this deck. And uh, I hope you can use that code and support this channel because uh, it enables me to borrow all the cards that I need to uh you know to make these videos anyway guys so we've got academy ruins this is really good with the ratchet bomb and the chalice by the way because if they're able to get rid of chalice or the ratchet bomb or we blow our own ratchet bomb up for example we can bring it back with academy ruins now that's the only change i've actually made to this deck because everything else is pretty much the way aaron wanted it so uh the only thing that i have changed is the academy ruins i took one of the blast zones out for the Academy Ruins, so. Uh, but everything else is pretty much the same. We've got four Castle of Antras to scry crap off the top of our library. Hall of the Storm Giants to beat down and finish our opponent off. And then 12 Island, the mana base is pretty straightforward to be honest with you. Uh, we have four Spreading Seas, helps mess up their mana base. It wasn't that good in the, in the matchups we played, but I could see it being good against the Urza Saga and Tron and things like that. We've got four Counter Spell, uh, four, ratch uh, four Ratchet Bomb. Uh, four Force of Negation. These were excellent, by the way. Uh, four Archmage's Charm. Four Memory Deluge. Four Subtlety. Four Shark Typhoon. Four Chalice of the Void. Uh, we've got four Tide Shaper to mess up their mana base even more. Four Dismember. Uh, three Relic of Regenitus. And three uh, Oblivion Stone. What I will say is... The Relic and the Oblivion Stone were totally essential. Very, very essential. If anything, I would say you need one more Relic and... Sorry, pardon me. Drop one of the um, Dismembers. Um, because Relic, dealing with Graveyards is such a, a big thing at the moment. And I think having four would be ideal. Um, but yeah, I really like this deck, guys. I thought it was really, really good. Um, you know, give it a try. Is it, what I will say is it's very very good um, uh, well the only thing I will say is I really liked having suspend in my last mono blue control deck because it's able to deal with creatures for only one blue mana uh, if they get an early ragavan out or something like that it's an absolute fucking nightmare uh, obviously you got the ratchet bomb and things like that but before you know before you get to kill the damn thing um you know, you, you're you like taking like six damage plus they've stolen cards off you plus they're getting treasures and it's like, oh, for fuck's sake. Um, obviously, then you could bring the dismembers in uh, from the sideboard. But um, yeah, Ragavan against this deck, if you haven't got like a subtlety. But the thing is, it feels bad even subtlety in the, uh, the Ragavan or turn one. I mean, you don't really want to lose a card and then just put their card back on top of the library. I mean, it felt... You don't really want to do that and obviously you know even when you're on the draw 
They've already got a Ragavan out, so your Chalice, Chalice for one is fucking useless. Um, so that's all. That's one thing I will say about it. But besides from that, I thought it was a really fun deck to play. And uh, like I said, we played three matches. We did pretty well. Um, maybe could have played a little bit better on... <laughs> oh, yeah. One of the fucking plays. Oh, my God. You'll have to watch that. Fucking hell, man. I've made them throw fucking balls up with Blasting. But you'll have to watch that. But anyway... We did all right. I, I can't complain. I mean, I haven't used the fucking card online in ages. Um, but yeah, fucking thing. All right. Um, yeah, so hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Give the video a like if you like it. Subscribe, uh, sub subscribe to see future content. And as always, thanks for all your support. Have a great day. See you in match one in just a sec. All righty. We have a match. I'm going to keep this. I'll we'll probably lead off the island because I want access to counter spell turn two. You go through this turn. Yet. Should have turned to them. Fucking hell. Now I wish I had suspend. Shit, shit, shit. Call of Storm Giants just got exiled. He'll smash for some damage. I'm actually tempted to not block here. And then sack the, bl the Blossom. Shit, he's got a soul see. Fucking hell, what a fucking hit. Yep, the turn to them. This Ragavan's gonna be a fucking nuisance, man. Can't get rid of the fucking thing. Ugh. My 
my god, we need to do the graveyard. Do they have to hit bomb after bomb? Should have turned to that. Without dealing with the graveyard, it's it's gonna be hard to win this game. Like we obviously got relics and things like that, but <laughs> fucking hell. <gasps> Okay. Oh, we're a little fucking deck we're playing against here. This is not a good matchup. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Or the man in the world. I've already played the land. Another bow? Go down to six. Is that really, is that acceptable? He's playing boats. Yes, my guess we'll just take it. Never Hall of Storm Giants. He don't tell me he's got both bolts in hand. So it's hard to them.
I have no choice. story, bro. I cannot do everything, unfortunately. This costs free to activate. I'll be one minus short. Sake. Relics are a must. Tide shapers might be useful. Keep two chalice in. Although we kind of want chalice on one, don't we? Might be a little bit better on the. I think the spreading seas actually might be not very good. Let me bring your arm stone. What a pain in the ass. Relic's great though. That Ragavan's a fucking pain in the ass though. Interesting. Team with the Shatter Skull Smasher. Should we turn to them? He's going to try and dash it in. Little ragaman. No, I'm just gonna let this resolve. I'm gonna lose two cards just to stop this. 
He will take the subtlety though, which is going to be a little bit annoying. Oh, he's got the Malika of Rebirth. Maybe. Although he hasn't got the uh, the, the black mana for it, so. <laughs> Fucking little shit. Chalice for one looks good actually. I don't even know, I don't know if he gets around dash though. Does it? I don't know. Should turn to them. I might even take the down. Oh, he's not even going to. Okay. Let's draw two cards. Missing a land drop was annoying. There you go. Should return to them. I suppose I could have shark typhoons. Um, to try and find a counter, a counter spell. Living stones are bad, boy. Swing for two. <clears throat> he swings with the free one. I'll block and then hopefully get him with the relic.
Make a free free. Your bomb's pretty good. <laughs> and another ratchet bomb. Smash for five. Play ratchet bomb. Should have turned to them. I think it's worth trying to force this just because I think he's got a lot of uh, mana spells he can't cast in his hand. That's annoying. Shit. So the moment is going to win the race. Make sure he exiles a creature. Ah, oh, you fucking shit bag. Okay. He might have won here. Great. Oh dear.
Fucking hell. I dodged your boat, basically. Should we turn to them? Yeah, buddy! Fucking come back on that. I think the Yellowstone's great. I'm bringing them in. Although the dismembers seem pretty good, actually. I don't normally like paying life, but... Maybe get rid of one or two deluge. Maybe one of the forces. Maybe one of the ratchet bombs. <clears throat> Relic's great. I'll be keeping up. Oh, 
I'll be keeping. Is he get? Is he trying to get an early fucking whatever it is out? I'm gonna force this if it is. Hey, motherfucker! <laughs> Get on, Sonny Jim! You just been owned. You just been owned. <laughs> Turn one chalice. Turn two, sorry, chalice. Oh, I wanna keep. A ratchet bomb's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good indeed. Alright, he's smaller to six. Look at him with his fancy fetch land. Oh, I should have played the Hall of the Storm Giants, actually. Now one of them's going to come in to play tapped. Fucking idiot. That was a mistake. God, he's got all the bloody fancy shenanigans. I know what deck it is now. It's the uh, polymorph deck. More than likely. Oh dear. This isn't a good matchup. What they do is they create a lot of tokens and then they try and cheat in Emrick or Polymorph or something. If it's the deck, I think it is. I am impressed by his mana base though. I'm, I'm quite impressed by these lads. He's clearly a, a show off guy. <sighs> Holy shit, he loves his lands. <sighs> okay, Teferi's going to be brutal. I'll be honest. Oh, you little fuckbag.
Faithful Mending is such a good card. Jesus Christ. Very, very good. It's got Ren and Six and Lightning Bolt a lot, this fucking deck. Holy moly. Pardon me. This is a real problem, look. He wants to get rid of this so that we don't get rid of his fucking tokens. <sighs> I'm just gonna keep on playing him. Motherfucker. I like in the subtlety as well. May as well play the chalice for one, I guess. Oh yeah, the subtlety's useless here, isn't it? Because of the fucking Teferi. Fuck about that. It is a useless. I think we can react to him casting the spell, so I think we're just not going to uh, blow up the ratchet bomb here. Although, I suppose he could minus three with Teferi, get rid of the ratchet bomb, then try and cast the spell. Okay. Nice golden tarn. Nice one attack with, I guess. He might have a bow at the ready as well. I suppose no. Bow would be useless here because of the chalice, so. Might have a lightning helix. Only problem is now if I sack that ratchet bomb, he's gonna lose his little one one. Huh! Holy shit, I don't have a ratchet bomb. Let's try and hit Teferi down if we can.
for Farry, it's a real fucking headache. Jesus Christ. Put all this fucking counter magic in hand. Can't even use it. That's annoying. I can't count her back, so Tafari's on the battle for you. Being a pain in my ass. Most probably means he's got a lightning bolt or a prismatic ending. Got to try and kill that safari. Getting rid of that Teferi was a big part of what we're trying to do here. Ooh. Okay, now I feel good. That was pretty epic, getting rid of that Teferi. We're in a great position now. I feel very confident. Very, very confident. At least we can now counter back. Alright, that's that cannot resolve. I'm gonna put that on top of his library. And now we're gonna put the hurt on him by swinging for six in the air every turn. Puts a fairy on top of his library. And he's just played in wooded foothills, so he isn't gonna sack that wooded foothills wooded foothills anytime soon. Well I smash for six in the air.
Next time we could sack one of the ratchet bombs, get rid of the fucking tokens. Should we go for his little safari again? Let's pass force of negation. Got one card left in hand. He's got the polymorph, he'll go for it now. Got no choice. That's fine, because he's just going to put two cards into the graveyard. Yeah, that's fine. There you go. No, he just concedes! Oh, bitch! <laughs> Let's go to our next one! Hello, 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 my friend. Old Mother Company. We've had a few battles, me and him. This is a very land heavy hand. What do I keep? Hopefully. We start drawing into spells. And you've only got 24 lands, so. The likelihood is very high. Okay. Should have turned to them. We just drew another land. <laughs> Fuck it up. Typical. <clears throat> typical, typical, typical. What is this? Don't care about that. We've got three more Hall of the Storm Giants, so. Shift the turn to our lovely opponent. They've got their own, own Hall of the Storm Giants, little bastards. Ratchet bomb, eh? Smash for one. <clears throat> I'm just going to tap two mana for no reason. Fair enough.
Fair enough. Kind of wish that we didn't. <clears throat> I feel like my other mono blue control deck was a little bit better in the control mirror, if I'm honest. Shark down. It's Mr. Land Drop. Shit. I want both of those cards. <clears throat> Time for subtlety. Is he going on top or not bottom? On the bottom, because he's missing land drops. Oh, he's got a self of solitude. Cool. That worked out very well. We know that there is a uh, there is a counter spell on top. He's down to three cards, to be fair. This happens. I'm gonna allow this to go. <clears throat> I'm gonna allow this to go. It pains me, but should return to them. Show himself a lamb. Sussity and a force. He might just win with Hall of Storm Giants, and that's what I'm a little bit concerned about. Should have turned to them. Yeah, the whole of the storm giants is oh, it's gonna be a nightmare. Keeps on hitting land drops. Thank you. 
show game log. Let's put it on the bottom. Oh, I should have put a counter on the fucking ratchet one. Alright, charm's good though. I'll do that now so I don't fucking forget. Smash for free. Oh shit, what, oh, I was supposed to put a fucking counter on it. You fucking melon, Terry. All right, that was a mistake. Fucking hell. Yes, put a fucking counter on it, you fucking dickhead. Oh, fucking hell. Jesus, fucking wet. Oh God. That was really bad. Fucking Jesus. Jesus fucking wet. That's that on the bottom, this on the top. Fucking idiot, Harry. There you go. Fucking hell. What a fucking idiot. I can't believe I fucking didn't put it on properly. Ugh. Fucking idiot. Oh, stones are coming in. I think Chalice is going to leave, actually. Ratchet Bomb seems okay though. I suppose the Tide Shaper can make certain lands, like take him off white maybe. I feel like the spreading seeds aren't that good here. Maybe keep one in, but. I feel like the tie shapers are better just to like get something on the board and start attacking. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. Plus, yeah. The... Hmm. Very land heavy, isn't it? Although I suppose they, they are generally quite slow, so it might work. Alright, let's go for this turn. Jesus. Never fucking land. Oh, I 
I'll pretend I got counter spell or something. Motherfucker's not going for my bluff, is he? He's going straight in with Teferi. I know. Fucking hell. I thought he was going balls deep. Should have turned to them. We're certainly not missing any land drops. Looks like I'm going to have to go salty. It's annoying. Teferi's on the bottom. Should have to turn to them. Turn to them. Oh, it's a fairy every fucking time, isn't it? Yes, he knew, he knew, motherfucker knew, I had his number, I don't know what he said in chat, but motherfucker knew that I had it, oh, all right, I'm going to call time there, guys. <sighs> Some really good back matches there, guys. Oh, my God. I just want to say thank you to Aaron. Um, Aaron gave me this deck list. Um, I actually sold some magic cards to Aaron Brown recently. I just want to say a big shout out to you. I must probably say it in the deck tech as well. You're actually the one that gave me the, this list. Um, the only thing I've changed is the Academy Ruins in the main, so... Uh, thank you very much for the list. I appreciate it, Aaron. And uh, God bless. And I shall hopefully see you in future videos, guys. Well, you take care. And bye-bye.